Learn how to link employee data between two Excel workbooks so you can maintain one master employee spreadsheet and the active employee list will automatically update anytime someone is added or their status changes. Let's take a look. We're going to start inside our master employee spreadsheet and I have titled this spreadsheet Demo Employee Database 26. That's the file name for this workbook and it contains columns that most HR teams track for an employee database like employee ID, name, status, job title, department, hire date, and hourly pay rate. In my status column, I do have this set up so that the statuses can be active, on leave, or terminated. And what we want to do is we want to actually be able to provide a separate spreadsheet to department leaders or payroll department that will just have the active employees. So they don't have to have this entire spreadsheet and filter on the actives. We want them to just have a running list of all active employees at any given time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate spreadsheet that'll have the exact same column structure and then we're going to pull in and link the data from the master employee spreadsheet, but only display the active employees on this list. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over to my original spreadsheet. And the first thing that we need to do to get this set up correctly so that everything runs smoothly is we need to turn all of this data into a table. So I'm going to click anywhere in my data and I'm going to type control T and that is going to create a table automatically. I'm going to make sure that my box here is checked, that the table has headers, and then click OK. So this converts my data into a table, and then I'm going to go up and format this to take away the formatting, and then my original formatting will display. I'm also going to come up here under Table Name, and I'm going to name this table. I'm going to call it Master. EE. So this is the master employee database table. Now let's look at these spreadsheets side by side. I have a new workbook that is my active employee list and I'm going to select the first cell where I want to pull in and link the information from the other workbook. So I'm going to type equals filter and the filter function will pop up. I'm going to hit tab. That'll type filter with an open parentheses, and now I need to select the array. So this is where I'm going to come over to the other spreadsheet. I'm going to come up to the very top and select that first cell there. And now I'm going to expand this so that you can see the formula a little bit better. So what this is doing is, is we're going to filter. We've selected the array that's linked to the master spreadsheet. And so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that link and I'm going to hit comma. And then the next part of our function argument is what to include. And what we want to include is any row of data where the employee status is active. So we want to look at the status column and the value of active. And then if so, if that's true, we're going to populate that here. So what we want to do is paste. And then we're going to replace employee ID over here with status column. We're going to say equals quotes active end quote and I'm just going to have to move this bracket here and that's going to end our argument and so we're going to hit enter. So notice that that brings over 1109 which is the first employee ID number of the first active employee on our master spreadsheet. But now what we want to have happen is to have this formula spill across our entire spreadsheet. And so in order to do that, we need to go ahead and remove the ampersands out of our formula. So I'm going to come up and remove those two, come back and hit enter. And now that's going to spill all the way down. And then what we want to do is copy this across for each column. And we're going to get a calc error that we just need to fix in each one. What we want to do is make sure that the status column is what's referenced here in this formula on each of these in each of these cells. So I'm going to copy that and we're going to replace for the status column to be active in each of these additional formulas.
All right, so let's fix our formatting here on column G. We're going to make that dollar currency and we want to make sure that this is our date column. So we're going to right click format cells and pick date and click OK. So now let's take a look at these two lists side by side again. OK, so on our original master spreadsheet, if we were to filter and just look at active employees, and then select the first column, we'll notice that the count down here is 50. And then if I come over to the active employee list workbook and select the first column, we'll see that the count is also 50. Now let's take a look if we change the status of one of these employees on our master list. So let's say that Audrey Bingham is gonna go out on leave. We're gonna select that and notice that she's over here on our active employee list spreadsheet, but we're gonna change her status on the master sheet. We're gonna change her to on leave and notice that she disappeared over here on the active list. So these are linked and this list is gonna only display active employees. And likewise, since we made this a table, we're gonna go ahead and come down to the bottom. We'll scroll down to the bottom of our list here on the second spreadsheet as well. And let's go ahead and add a new employee to the list. So let's say we have a new hire and we're gonna add that employee record down here. And as soon as we select the active status for this new record, it adds the her over here. And we have zeros for the data. So once we fill that in, that will populate on the active listing spreadsheet. And we can hit control semicolon for today's date and add an hourly rate. And we notice that all of that data and information is now automatically populated over here on the active listing spreadsheet. And if we make a mistake and we need to delete someone off the list, we can delete it and it will automatically delete off of the active employee listing as well. So this filter formula is a great way to link data between two Excel workbooks to build a clean, automatically updating data set without having to copy and paste. And a quick bonus tip, be sure and save both workbooks in the same file folder. That way you can share them out and you won't break the links. And as long as you have this master file open, this data should refresh. If for any reason it doesn't, you can come up to the data tab and click on refresh all and it will force Excel to refresh those external links. If you found this helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it and subscribe to my channel. You can visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.